master is and how it works. First of all, we master is a multi-user network based web bridge management system whose database is based on MySQL. We master can be implemented in two ways. First, we master can be installed in the server whereby the server acts like a main computer whereby all client machine access we master from. In the server, the we master should uh, the server should have the following features. First, the RAM should be 2 GB and above. Hard disk should be 2 GB and above. Uh, also, the monitor resolution should be 1024 by 768 or higher. In the server, sh the server should have an operate uh, Windows Server, let's say, to 2012 and above. Uh, the, or the minimum to eight and above. Also, in the server, the server we should also install an MS SQL Management Studio, whereby it will act like a hosting database. Uh, in the client machine, the sec, uh, in the client machine we need to have uh, the, the 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 client machine should communicate with the server through a network. Once we install the we must in the server, we interlink from the server to the client machine. Uh, we must have it has a beautiful features. If I can go one by one, the first bit beautiful feature is called inbuilt report writer. In this case, it will assist us on how we create a report in our own format we need. Let's say for example we need to come up with a report in a certain format we need. Here we come reports, then we come report list. Here we click add. From here you specify which are uh, the report name. Let's say uh, three. We give a group. Let's say we, we are interested in a transaction. Then we click next. In this case, we give a type, let's say transaction, um, slip entry, click next. Uh, from here, we get uh, a quite a number of fields that we want to customize in our report. For example, we need to have uh, a report which has uh, a terminal. We take it to our right. We want to have uh, a slip entry date. We take it in our right. Also, we, we need to have a uh, track. Uh, in date, we take our like, vehicle number. You can take as many fields as you want. In here, you can also take the first weight, the second weight, if we want such a report to have those fields, and also net weight. Uh, okay, net weight. So, from here, you click next. This is how we come up with a report in our own format. This report will appear like this. You can export to PDF. You can also as well print the report. That's a good, beautiful feature in our system whereby you can create your own report as you require. The same thing, uh, another feature in our system, we have a, a, a build slip, a layout design. In this case, what we mean, we can design a slip. We can design a ticket. And we can, uh, in this case, we have a report on the ticket whereby we design and capture the exact field that you had customized. This is a good feature. Mostly, we we advise client to to uh, uh, if uh, he, cast, he comes with a new customized. Uh, Feed in, in a ticket. Here we need to get exact field that we had customized and also come up with a report with the same field. Uh, another thing, another feature, the third feature our system can provide us is called customized field. In customized field, in this case, we mean if you want to customize a ticket. A ticket to capture what you want. Let's say transport, transporter, destination, driver name, drive ID. These are the fields which I captured while printing the ticket. Uh, 
here that's where we created this field field like transporter destinations we created from here this what are the exactly field these are the exactly field that appears in the ticket another thing uh, under customized you can come up with customers field value in this case I said we have quite a number of transporter instead of, of creating the manual in uh, in the ticket while printing the weight or at the ticket you can have a list of transporter in customers field of value the, once you get these, uh, these are transporters in the strip design and uh, strip entry let's say strip entry will have a list of those uh, transporter you had created. For example, we have uh, Ken, William. You can create as many uh, transporter you want from the customized field value. This is a good feature which will assist you also while capturing the uh, weight and print the ticket. Another, another good uh, feature is that our system can uh uh send mails to relevant people can send reports or ticket uh, ticket to relevant people here in, in our case we have to i enable the setting for auto mailing auto mail schedule so we have to set this mailing auto mailer we have to specify the server all these things we have to specify smtp this one we get it from the client side once we do that we need to create once you do that can also that's where we specify where so in our system it has also an option whereby you integrate with IP in cameras uh, here in this case we enable the setting for IP integration and the camera integration sorry here once we enable this then we must kind of integrate it with the, our cameras uh, now that we've known the beautiful features of the system we i need to show you how we set up waymaster first thing once we install waymaster in the server on the client machine the first thing you need to identify if the operating machine where the webmaster is being installed or webmaster is going to take weight from should is uh, that machine is supporting what we call serial communication serial communication in this case we mean uh, the machine has an option for comp communication yeah while once we've installed we need to set up webmaster first thing we need to have uh, we need to set these settings we need to create a node once we click we create a node for example we have created here other test we need to specify which com, com we in this machine provide different machines have different com communication in this case you need to select your com port as your machine that uh, the machine supports once you do that also we need to specify the correct settings as provided from way indicator supplier or a vendor so we need to get those settings those settings we need uh, we pr we set them from here then we set a, uh, we test a communication if we capture the correct weight from weighing bridge platform here once you click start we expect to capture the correct weight once the correct weight is captured then good to go from here then we save the the, the settings once you do that 
now we've created a node so if uh, you want to limit those nodes to a, a certain computer we come up what we call up with a tail setup because not all the computer and uh, not all the uh, computer can uh, can weigh two nodes at, uh, at the same time that's why every node has a different computer so we specify which computer should capture weight from which node so in this case we mean we have to create a tail setup the essence of creating a tail setup here that's where we specify this computer only takes weight from a certain node certain node from a certain indicator that's what we mean a node means from a certain indicator from here we give the name of the computer and this computer will capture the weight from this indicator so once we set this setup another thing under masters we need to create units units means measuring units we are going to deal with so in this where we create in our case we've created our what we call kg most of the companies use kg so you can specify the number of decimal points that you want another thing under masters you need to create materials from here you can create my one by one by creating here you give the name then you save another thing you can create packaging mode from here click add you specify tail weight tail weight means this the weight this empty weight this uh, we have different packaging model that have a uh, uh, weight so like a uh, bell bell it has its own uh, weight while it's empty that's what we call tail weight so in the masters also we have a vehicle place whereby you can create as many vehicle as you can either internal or external internal means vehicle from the company external maybe from the supplier or the customer so in this case uh, you can create a shift if let's say you are working on the shifts yes, you can create as many shifts then you specify first time and end time another thing customer you can create as many customers in the system as you can uh, in the, from here you will create manually one by one if for example you don't want to create one by one like you want to import from excel format to the system we have that option we go to file first thing you have to export the the, the template from the system uh, from here, you can't re uh, go to refer the password later, but here there's a password we can uh, we provide while exporting the template. And this thing is just done while we implement the system. We take the template, let's say we are taking unit list template in form of Excel, we fill all the data, then we import in the system. Importing is the here import then you import which a uh, uh, kind of template you are importing the system here you that's where we have option for the exact format and if you want to import uh, many items in the system now in the case in this case once we've understood how the system is being set from creating the node creating the tail setup and also specifying the tail setup according to which node uh, that tail setup is going to capture weight from. Another thing now the main important of the system is how weight is being captured. So here we call the transaction. This where the main operation of Waymaster is. Here slip uh, we have what we call slip entry. Slip entry that's where we capture weight first thing if uh, we the truck comes and goes to a web 
bridge for, uh, platform we need to click new entry here the track will uh, the track will come with let's say the first weight with uh, in this case if you click new and en new entry you have to specify which track number is then uh, for example right now let me just type uh, uh, the first weight manually by pressing a five let's say the first weight is five thousand then from here I've captured then I save okay from here you can also um, specify the transporter you can type whatever you want the name of the driver then once you do that packaging mode you will specify it. Uh, oh. then from here then I save oh there is what called order order it's not included here but I will just check later just a moment I need to check where order is okay that one I will check later um, here once once you save the system will now understand the first weight has been taken which is 5000 now to track maybe it was empty it goes to warehouse it picks another mater material that material you you add the second weight you take you capture the second weight now in this case let me just put the second weight uh, i press f3 let's say the second weight is 10000 Oh, yeah 10,000 now the system will automatically calculate the net pay it will take the second weight minus the first weight to give you a net weight net weight in, in this case means the weight of the material mostly the weight of material we get from the first weight get uh, uh, first weight minus the second weight or the second weight minus the first weight whichever is which is higher so once we capture that, we can print this ticket and see how the ticket looks like. In this case, for example, I've just taken the record at the taken area, the width at taken area. So here I click print. So once you click print, we see how the ticket will look like. This is how the ticket will look like in this ticket it has all the fields that you had customized okay. in this ticket we have the first weight the second weight and the net weight it has also what you had customized under the customized field uh, setup so from this ticket you can print once print in this ticket you give your driver can sign operator can sign and the whoever is supposed to authorize can assign can, can sign sorry so once we do that then that's the end of how the system works because the main purpose of we master is how we cut the first weight the second weight and get the weight of the material once all those have been captured we need to have with a certain receipt or ticket from the system once we get the ticket then take it to relevant people who are supposed to sign that ticket then uh, when they sign that's the how the system assist, uh, uh, we are able to use the system for uh, determining the weight of the material mm. uh, another settings in our system another 
uh, features in our system which most reward uh, perfect you can limit the users of the system you can have admin you can have operators operators who have minimum want to limit those uh, rights to the user you can have main accounts as possible you come up with a user setup from where you create once you create the users you come up you go to user role from here you specify as a this test then give him or give her the rights he's supposed to do if you don't want him to edit you can as well select you, you want to you don't want him to delete you can select from here so in the system you can utilize these all fields also another important thing is how to take a backup once you've done any transaction the system it's better to take backup because anything can happen and the machine crashes here you go to backup then you, down here click save once you do that we can restore the same backup by clicking restore then specify the location and then click restore another thing you can change the user password from here right now like my username is that mean that password i can just specify here the new password and the con the confirm again uh another thing uh the system at time is good to, to know the basic tool on how to troubleshoot an error uh, which is generated by system by creating update database these are best tool which assists you to sort any error in the system if that error may be persist that one we need to address immediately from our side but this is the best option or not to troubleshoot if, if you click on that probably the error will be solved another thing the license has expired and make probably you need to update the license what do you need a confirmation mail from your side which request for license renewal then in our case we do re uh, register uh, extend the license from our side then what you need to do you click li uh, license registration here you click re re regenerate license configuration and so once you do that i'm oh, sorry uh you do um, uh, re registration key then from here there is a uh there's a code you are given with password then you click register to register automatically mm. thus now we call it the end of the uh exercise on how to how we master is and how it works mm, then thank you for your time and uh, have a good day